Mark, Hello. Um, thoughts on today? It felt like the first half really decided the game? I thought three minutes decided the game. I um, thought we actually started quite well. I had a couple of really good chances. Um, gave away two really soft goals. I, I didn't think the game was dead and buried by any stretch of the imagination. Like a half time, I really we talked about the next goal obviously being key, but we really felt we were back in the game. Um, second half we started really well, started the way we should have done in the first half. Um, I just think it's a little bit of a wake up call to some people, um, like a reality check. Um, I wouldn't say it was a game of two halves, but this, this, the second half, for the first 20 minutes, is what it should look like. I, like the, the last 15 minutes, of the game sadly just petered out. Um, give them some credit for that as well. Wake up call to who? I just think we've got we've got a very young group, but they have to know what an elite mentality looks like. And it's not. I want to be really careful what I say here because it's not. We, we could have made a load of changes at halftime, so it's not the guys that go off. But we just need the guys to understand. You can't just turn up on a Saturday and think you've cracked it. And that's my worry with some of our players, and we've seen that a little bit today. And um, to understanding that you, you know you don't get you don't get a lifetime of chances in football. You get one or two, and when they're gone, they're gone. You don't get them back. And I think some of our players are quite naive in how what they think the game looks like. As um, you get other centre halves fit, hopefully Jacko's back. Obviously Lewis in the long term as well. I'm seeing, thankfully Joe coming back as well. Does that make you think that Regan is a is an option really at, at right back? I know you like him at centre half, but at right back. Yeah, no, we've, we've said to the group going ahead like in the past, like it, it's every man for himself. And Joe's back when Adam's back. We've said Regan can play right back, Joe can come in, which may put pressure on Regan and Pordy. Um, so we've always made it clear to all the guys that we've got plenty of options to change things around and players playing in different positions. And you've seen Teddy played in wide areas with great success this year as well. So we want competitions for places. Um, and we do have some really good players to come back in, which we should see in the next 10 days. And that's encouraging to hear. Matty came in and, and, and we got a bit of a cameo out of him, didn't he? And Lincoln fans saw a bit of what he can bring. Yeah, I thought I, I didn't want to play him there, by the way. I wanted to play him as an eight. Um, but he got us playing. He played forward a lot. With his first two and three touches, he plays forward. He plays quickly. You can see his experience. He did really well. Joe Walsh really made us stronger in, in, in the back four. So they're good players to have. And then we've got other people in the background to come back as well. Um, Last Sorensen down for quite a long time in the first half. Was that linked to him coming off? Yeah, hundred um, percent. And I said to him when he when he came up to us, he, he said he felt fine with that. I said just you know, keep talking to us. Let us know how you feel. It might change. And, uh, and, and, and unfortunately, he, he got a really a really bad knock. And I thought it was, it was best for Last to pull him out of the um, a high octane in, environment. Um, I am going to ask you a transfer question. When are you happy where you are with the, how the window's gone? Um, for what we for what we look for, yes, absolutely. A big thank you to uh, to, 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 the, to the board, uh, to Jez, the recruitment team. Um, yeah, ha happy with the players we brought in. Yes. This is one of those rare away games where some of the Lincoln fans will be on the road and probably be able to hear from them, hear from you, and uh, obviously another what more than a thousand here. Amazing, you know, incredibly supportive, vociferous on the day, got behind the team. Um, really disappointed for the first half that we. We offered them back for that for that incredible support. Um, a huge thank you as always. I keep saying it doesn't go unnoticed, and uh, it means a lot to us. And, you know, very grateful.